Let's look at this example here of posterior acoustic enhancement. In this ultrasound image, you can see a cyst within the liver. Posterior to the cyst, you can see that the liver parenchyma appears brighter than the background liver parenchyma, or so-called posterior acoustic enhancement. How does this happen? Let's take a look at the image on the left. An ultrasound probe is placed over the soft tissue structures. Let's place a fluid collection within that. How does that appear by ultrasound? Well, as the ultrasound waves come from the probe itself, no attenuation of the signal happens within a fluid collection. It is anechoic. It doesn't produce any echoes and therefore appears black by ultrasound. Now, attenuation happens in the surrounding tissue as the beam goes deeper and deeper, but less so in the fluid collection so that the beams that return through the fluid collection have less attenuation of their sound and therefore appear as if there's posterior acoustic enhancement. Now it's important to keep in mind that posterior acoustic enhancement does not always mean that something is a cyst. Here's an example here of an abnormal lymph node, a patient who ended up having lymphoma, where the lymph node is surrounded by fat density. Now the fat attenuates the sound beam much more than the soft tissue does, and therefore you get posterior acoustic enhancement. So going back to our original example here, we have a cyst within the liver with posterior acoustic enhancement caused by less attenuation of the sound beam. More content is being added on a weekly basis, so if you like what you see, consider subscribing to the Ultrasound Made Ultra Simple channel.